Our Brexit is looking more and more as if it's not going to happen. To those Remainers, you've done a really good job on trying to persuade these stupid parliamentarians that Remaining is the best, best option. But what you fail to realise is you're giving our country away to unelected bureaucrats. And if we stay within the EU, you'll start getting more of a federalisation of the EU, like your army. Your army will be a federal army. And what does that mean? If one of the 28 countries gets attacked, then the federal army will respond, which means we're all involved. You can't stop it. You're no good going on the street with your little white flags going, oh, we don't want to be in this war. You'll be in this war. It'll be a world war because the decision will be taken out of your hands by those that are unelected, by those that have got the money, by the rich. They'll be weighing it all up. What's good for them? What can they earn out of it? That's your EU. And then you could have a federal police force as well. What does that mean? Well, currently we have a reactive police force that doesn't actually do anything for most of the community apart from reacting to serious crime that seems to be all it's there for now. But with a federal police state, you come under different rules. There won't be no phoning up your call centres. They'll just be reacting themselves, probably in a harsher way. Might be a good thing to sort these criminals out, but in a, a more proactive and harsher way to anybody that steps out of line. What you're looking at, the federal army, federal police state, is you're looking at a dictatorship. That's what it all boils down to. You're going to be dictated to what you can and can't say, what you can and can't do, who you can have in your country and who you can't, what deals you can get and what deals you can't get. That's a dictatorship. And if you can't see that, well, there is something missing between your ears it's like you're handing our country over for someone else to control. We're not even independent anymore. There'd be no need for a queen or a king of our country. No need at all. What's the point? Because we're being controlled by Europe. By someone in Europe. By someone in Brussels. That is what happens when there's a no Brexit deal. It's great that the majority of the population can see that happening. That's why they voted in the way they did. But it's so disappointing to find we've got so many snowflakes in this country now who just don't want the hassle of defending their country anymore. That's what it's been brought down to. Don't mention the war, and I don't want to know this, the Remainers. Don't mention the war, don't bring that up. As far as they're concerned, you know, that happened in the past. We're different now. You tell that to the people that lost family members in those wars so that this country could be independent. I'm not a racist, I'm a patriot. I'm not a right winger, I'm a patriot. And there's nothing wrong with being a patriot. But in this country at the moment, there's everything wrong with being a patriot. They rebrand you. And I've got no right to, because I've done nothing wrong. All I've wanted is my country to stay as my country. And that's what it should be like now. And Theresa May and those parliamentarians, they will pay the price in the end for their treachery to this country. You can be sure of that. It won't need me to do it.